What is good guys, back from my World Cup this time, Falls from Team Oceania versus Brofist from US Northeast. Two Megalodies most likely, then um, Rocks Clef, Spikes Pharaoh on Falls side most likely, Scarf Magnezone on both sides. Uh, Weavile can potentially trap the Megalody from Brofist side, which would mean that Glisco can become a huge threat. And Weavile overall is a bit annoying for Brofist's team. He only has Coco to outspeed Weavile. And because I don't think the Lando is Scarf, I assume the Lando is defensive because otherwise his team is quite weak to Zygarde. Uh, the Magnezon has to be Scarf, the Ladi is Mega, the Kyurm is most likely Z-Move on Brofist's side. So turn 1 we see Pharaoh vs Coco lead, we're gonna see most likely either a Volt Switch or U-Turn from the Coco and if the Pharaoh stays in this allows Brofist to go into Magnezon, potentially trap the Pharaoh. A uh, good lead sheet play there by Falls because this means uh, Magnezon gets annoyed here. And now he could um, he could get up a spike here with the Pharaohs on Brofus is obviously gonna lock himself into HP Fire. I think HP Fire does like 54, 58, something like that to Ferrothorn. Um this is obviously a Spadef Ferrothorn, it's his main way of checking Ash Greninja. And yeah, Protect is re really helpful here to chip the Ferrothorn down, uh, the Magnezone down. So now he can get up a spike and uh, Brofus might actually have to switch out because um, yeah, like I said. It only does like 55-ish uh, Scarf Hidden Power Fire with Protect, Leftovers and Lead Sheet Recovery. This uh, Ferrothorn is super annoying for Brofist. Uh, Magnezone getting chipped can be annoying for Brofist because that was one of his um, Rewild checks. I mean, he can play around Rewild. He can like... Nah, the thing is if his Chansey gets knocked off, uh, like nothing really wants to take hits. And especially if Rock Squab Kyurem um, might get in range from the Weavile, so yeah, he has to be careful. But he does go for HP Fire, so we just see a spike go up. Goes for Power Whip instead, okay, helps. Uh, I guess Power Whip might be the better play, because that way the Magnezone gets lower faster, and now the Protect is gonna come out here, obviously. And I think Brofist's play is switching out exactly, because you don't wanna um, let him Protect, get more leftovers, lead sheet, and your Magnezone gets super low. But yeah, I have to take back, the spike play would've been wrong. I agree with Power Whipping, well played by Faults. So Brofist um, knows that this is a power whip, protect, lead sheet, pharaoh, and the last move is most likely spike. So it doesn't have knockoff, um, and doesn't have gyro ball, so he knows that his Kyurem walls this. Uh, I assume that there's no point in getting up rocks for Brofist because he has to default quite often, because Clef or pharaoh can get up hazards like super easy on most of Brofist's team, on like Chansey, Ladi, on the Coco. Uh, his default guy is either the Lando or the Coco. It depends on who is the rocker. If Lando is the rocker, then Coco is the defogger. If Chansey is the rocker, then Lando could also be the defogger potentially. But he uh, U-turns back into Magnezone, falls makes a good play there, lead sheeting in case Magnezone comes out. And um, Brofus, is, it's not in his interest uh, to stay in here. He's most likely going to switch out. A uh, few options here are the Kyurem could come out, um, knowing that this doesn't have durable, so Kyurem walls it. And he also has an Intimidate on this. Mm, yeah, I assume Kyurem is gonna come out. I don't really see what else he can go out into. But yeah, Magnezone being low, uh, I guess Chansey. Spikes go up, good play, they're not protecting. It's a quote-unquote free spike. And um, now, I think he's just gonna lead sheet again, or he could also uh, go out into his... He could do a few things. He could go Gliska to get a Toxic Orb activated. He could lead sheet. And he could also go to Clef to get a Brox. Yeah, he does go Clef. So, um, Chansey is Wish, which means that Lando is most likely Rox, and Coco is most likely Defog, because if Lando is not Rox, then... If Lando is Rox, then Coco has to be Defog. I mixed up the words there for a second. But yeah, Chansey is not Rox if it's the Wish user. So he can Wish pass. Um, false play might be Moonblasting here, because the Magnezone is at 30, I think. So after Spike, it's at like it's like super low. So it dies to Moonblast after Spike. I agree with um, going Coco there on Brofist's side. Rocks was a fine play for False, but this Coco is most like Defog. So I assume we're going to see just a Defog here from Brofist. So False is either going to switch out into Ferrothorn or... Um, yeah, he's probably just going to go out into Ferrothorn, because he doesn't know guaranteed if this Coco... Like, he doesn't know anything about this Coco set, so he doesn't want to let the Clefable stay in, because the Clefable can potentially wall the Kyurem uh, after the Kyurem uses the Z-move. So he goes Ferrothorn. Uh, I assume Brofus is just going to U-turn out into either the Kyurem or the Landris. Like, he cannot really go Magnezone, because the Magnezone is super low. And yeah, U-turn is a fine play. He doesn't really care about the Iron Barbs too much. He has that Wish Path. 
And did the cocoa item get revealed? I'm not sure if it did, but I think we're just gonna see a spike go up. Yep. So this QM could be a few things. Uh, it's obviously Z move. It's pretty obvious to me. But I'm saying um, it's obviously Ice Beam, Fusion Bolt, Freeze Shock. The last move is what I'm trying to say. Could be a few things. Could be Roost. Could be Sub. Um, it's probably not HP Fire because he has a Magnet Zone, and it's also probably not uh, Earth Power. It's, it's probably either Roost or Sub. But um, False probably wants to switch out here into either Clef or Magnuson or Weavile. I'm not exactly sure what the best play is though. Uh, I also don't know the role um, from, from Sub-Zero Slammer versus Clefable. But yeah, Brovis chose to be Sub, um, so he doesn't have Roost makes some sense because he has Wish on the Chansey so he can keep the QRM healthy with that. So if Sub-Zero Slammer doesn't Oko, Faults can stay in here and go for Softball because if Brovis uses the Z-Move, then the chance the Clef Waltz is forever. I don't know the calc on sub zero Slammer was this Clef, it might be a roll to Oko, it might do like 90-ish. But Falls' play here is definitely softballing. And I could see Brofus um, just try to get some chip on the Clef with either... Uh, obviously Fusion Bolt is the play here this turn because you still have Electric Terrain up. Basically he needs some chip on the Clef. If the Clef is not at full, Z-Move always guaranteed kills it. And if he can get rid of the Clef, um, then that's obviously Falls' Rocker, that would be amazing for Brofist if he can get rid of the Rocker. And um, if Rocks go up, then he can defog with Coco. If Clef is dead, they Rocks are not gonna go back up again. Um, the thing is, I don't know if Falls wants to stay in. I think you should spam Softball for a bit, yeah. I mean, I agree with, if you stay in, you have to spam Softball, because if the Curum chips you down, then you die to Z-Move. So he's either going to spam this or yeah, eventually going to switch it into either the Weavile or the Magnuson. So he goes Magnuson, there's a crit and a freeze, okay. So um, Brofus can just spam Ice Beam here, that freeze is annoying for falls. Um, but at least his Magnuson got frozen and not his Clef because his Clef is a bit more important in this match. Uh, getting up rocks on Lando, Chansey, or um, after this uses the Z, this, the Clef walls it forever. So the freeze sucks, Brofus is able to just spam Ice Beam here. So, uh, obviously we know confirmed that his Choice Scarf Magnuson, we saw that it, that it moved before Ice Beam, even though it was frozen, and yeah, he saws out, so that's good for Falls. So, um, it's really obvious that Brofus doesn't want to stay in here and take a Flash Can, so Brofus has a few options here. Uh, he's, most likely, he's most likely just gonna go into Chansey. Oh yeah, I forgot, his own Magnuson is super low, yeah, so Brofus' play here is just going Chansey. And yeah, Falls has a lot of options, he can either double out into Glisco to get his Toxic up, because the Chansey is super obvious here. He can double out into Weavile to potentially uh, to then threaten the Chansey out, or he could also double into Ferrothon to get some leftovers and just get some lead sheet going. Um, wear down Brovis team or um, try to get up more spikes. Hmm. I think Weavile might be a good play. Okay, he just he just plays it safe and flash cans again, and yeah, Chansey. Is probably gonna go for Wish again here. So Falls is obviously gonna switch out into Clef, yeah. Clef or Ferrothon was the, pretty much the play of choice. Or Glisco. Now, um, I think you Moonblast here. I mean, Rocks is an option as well. But Brofus is most likely just gonna Wish Pass into Tapu Coco. Because um, if he goes Magnuson here and the and Falls goes for Moonblast, then I'm pretty sure his Magnuson dies with the Spike up. So you don't wanna risk losing your Magnuson and. You just want to go Tapu Coco. Yeah, his Magnuson is low. I think his Coco is at 80 something, so it's able to live a Moonblast with a spike. Yeah, it's at 88. It's able to live a Moonblast with a spike, and then it just gets the wish and it's back to full. So False goes for Moonblast just in case Brofist wants to um, wish pass into. wanted to pass into Magnuson, that's why he Moonblasted, because it would have killed the Magnuson. So I assume we just see a U turn. He goes for T Bolt. Um, Ferrothon can now just go for lead sheet because you want to keep this Ferrothon healthy if you're false. Um, I could potentially see Brofist hard switching out. Oh, he defogs. I'm a bit surprised because defog only has 24 pp. Uh, Spikes and rocks both have 32 pp. So you have to be a little bit careful um, that you don't use your defog too much. Um, I, how I would play it, I would like try to defog whenever two spikes are up. That way you don't use too many defog pp. Um, but in the long run, the Pharaoh is going to be able to keep up a spike anyway because he can't really trap this with his Magnuson being that low. He can't like really wish past the Magnuson backup. So Kyurem comes out. No, uh, Brofus knows that this walls the Pharaoh's zone. Um, obviously, Pharaoh doesn't want to stay in here. 
Because the Ferrothorn is uh, valuable, gets up spikes, leads sheets, annoys the entire team, can check the Megalady and the Coco. Goes Heart Magnezone, it's just a sag there. Yeah, he doesn't wanna he doesn't wanna go Clef because um, Fusion Bolt or Ice Beam into Z move would kill the Clef. And yeah, Fusion Bolt was a good play there in case he went into Weavile. Okay, so Clef comes out. I think Brofus is just gonna switch out. Mm -mm -mm. Switch out into what? I guess in Tapu Koko or Chansey. Honestly, this matchup isn't too great for Brofus. Like, he can potentially get one kill with Z Kyurem. Uh, if Fault is worried about the Kyurem going for Z here, he can also go for Soft Boiled. Uh, but I don't think Brofus is gonna Z here. I think he's most likely gonna switch into either Chansey or um, Tapu Koko. So, I think Moonblast or Rocks is a fine play. Like, basically, what I wanted to say earlier. Um, I would like try to defog with the Coco when rocks and spikes are up, not when only one hazard is up. But yeah. Even though Brofus is up 6 5, um, this match is definitely not. Like, it's, it's, it's still looking good for Falls, is what I'm trying to say. Because the Ferrothorn, besides the Zeon Kyurem, I don't know how Brofus wants to kill the Ferrothorn, because he's not going to have HP fire on Ladi when he has a Magnezone. And his Magnezone is super low, like. That's all you guys know what's going on. His pharaoh is on his magnus is almost dead, so he can't trap the pharaoh. So I assume he's either either the soft bolt moonblast or rocks. Yeah, I mean yeah, moonblast. In case uh Kyum wanted to stay in. And then if the Qum attacked there next turn falls would have most likely um pivoted out into the Weavile next turn or something like that, because he doesn't want to die to Z move. But yeah, we see it's a leftovers Tapu Koko, so it's utility Tapu Koko with Defog U turn T build and Roost. Uh Falls reveals that he's CM kill fail. So Brofus has to U-turn out here into his into his Chansey, I guess. <laughs> he doesn't have a good counter for this. So yeah, this Cafable is really annoying for him. Rocks go back up, correct play on Falter's side. Forces out the default, gets them up. And I guess Brofus is just gonna click Seismic Toss here. Uh, he, he cannot really beat this Clef. So uh, Falter is gonna see him, see him up. Oh, he has T-Wave. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Okay, so it's T-Wave Wish. T-Wave Wish. Uh, he has T-Wave instead of Toxic for extra speed control, which softball and Seismic Toss most likely is the moveset. So yeah, the, the Lando is definitely going to be Rocks, Earthquake, U-Turn, HPIs, because uh, his team is quite weak to Magnezone. He throws up a Wish, um, I guess he's just going to Seismic Toss up, because um, he can't really pass the Wish into anything. The Coco obviously can't beat the Clef with CMs up. You obviously don't want to go Kyurem and die to Moonblast, you don't want to go Lari, you don't want to go Magnezone, and Lando also can't beat this. Because uh, I'm pretty sure it's just a defensive Lando. I don't know if the item is revealed. It's either Lefties or Helmet Lando most likely. Um, or Yachi. Yachi is an option as well. But I think it's just Lefties or Helmet. <coughs> so Fall's probably just going to try to see him up to plus 6. And Brofus is um, going to spam Estos a bit here. And hope for a para hex Because he really doesn't have a good counter for the Clefable. <laughs> okay, he gets two paras. You already know the Smoktus chat is gonna um, go in now with the one, with the two, and if he paras again here with the three, let's see. He paras again. Oh, not like this. <laughs> if he loses his cleft to paras, uh, he might just lose this game. But ooh, okay, he's able to get up the softball there. That would have been <laughs> that would have been super bad. So he has to softball again here because you don't want. Oh, he gets parad again. Ooh, Brof is really fishing for them paras. I mean, it's Brof's best play. He doesn't really have another way of beating the cleft, like I said. So. Yeah, it is the correct play to make. So we see he has 25 seismic toss left. And the clef has 11 softballs. Basically, he's, yeah, if he can't beat the clef, at least he's stalling out softballs. So um, Moonblast comes out as 24. Yeah, he has to go to plus 6 to do any good damage to the Chansey. And the Chansey has um, Wish and softballs, which means the Chansey can easily recover quite often it can potentially stall out all the 24 moon blasts so both is just clicking t wave there um, potentially i don't know if he predicted the switch or if he just wants to save his um, seismic toss um but uh, false doesn't want to play this game anymore goes glisco in case he wants to double t wave glisco doesn't care about it. yeah he was just spamming t wave he doesn't want to waste his s toss pp i assume so the glisco means um so a potential player here is doubling into Weaver, predicting the, um, the Mega Lari to come out. So if I'm Brofusty, I would probably go into Landris, because Landris is like a mid-ground play. If he doubles into Weaver, um Landris at least doesn't get trapped by the Weaver. exactly. Um, but yeah, Ferrothon is also a good play. 
and this just lets him go for Leech Seed. Because you know that Lando's probably going to go for U-Turn since Brofus has the Wish Pass to get the Lando back up healthy. He doesn't care too much about the Iron Barbs. And the Coco is really obvious, so I would just go for Leech Seed instead of going for Spike because you want to keep this Ferrothorn healthy. Um, I guess Brofus's way of be dealing with the Ferrothorn is, like I said earlier, potentially killing it with the Z-Move. I assume we see a Power Up here. But since he's intimidated, I don't think that kills. It does absolutely nothing here. Yeah. And Brofus can just go for Roost here. Uh, Faults can get up a spike uh, knowing the roost is gonna come out and knowing that power up doesn't do enough damage But yeah, his way of beating the pharaoh is like pp stalling it or potentially trying to kill it with the Z from the Q But yeah, he can't really kill it with the zone since the zone is super low I mean his only way to get the magnus on backup is um, with wish from Chanthi if the zone is in on the clef and If there's no spike up then moonblast doesn't kill so he can try to do that or he can try to hope that the clef gets full Parrot on the wish and then he can pass into magnus on even if there's a spike up but uh, Brofus eventually has to U turn out here. I don't think I don't think staying in defogging gets him anywhere because like yeah he's just gonna power up. Then Brofus has to roost. Then he's gonna spike again. And yeah nothing really like this is not in Brofus' favor because the spike is gonna go up at the end of the day because spike has uh, more PP than defog and he's annoyed from Le he's annoyed by leech sheet and power balls does some good chunk. Well power up doesn't do too much because of the intimidate. But you guys get what I'm trying to say. This is like eventually Brofus has to switch out right. Spikes again there. That was well played by Brofus because now he can defog when there's two spikes. Um, that's what I was talking about earlier. That's how I would play it. Just defog when there's multiple hazards, not when there's one hazard. Because um, you have to be careful with your defog PP. He has only 17 left. Um, yeah, I probably would have hard switched or U-turn there. Because, like I said, you have to be careful with the defog PP. And the Pharaoh has 23 spikes left. And the Coco, I think, only has 16 defog left with the defog he just used. So eventually he has to switch out into either Chansey to Wish Pass into something or into his... Yeah, I don't think you want to go hard Kyurem because he doesn't have Roost on that. So you probably want to go Chansey first and Wish Pass on the Kyurem. Or you can go Ladi and potentially fish, uh, click Ice Beam Fish for Freeze on the Ferrothorn because um, he doesn't really have another way of beating the Ferrothorn. It's super annoying for him. Uh, if it wasn't a Protect Ferrothorn, then the Magnuson could have trapped it early game and Brofus would have been fine, but the Protect um, came in clutch for Faults. And yeah, having Protect on the Pharaoh is not a bad option, like overall. It can be annoying to not have like knockoff, but he has a, Weevil, a knockoff user in Weevil, a potential knockoff user in Gliscor. Like Gliscor is most likely a SD variant, either Facade or knockoff or Ice Fang in the last slot. Um, probably um, either knockoff or Facade. I don't think he's Ice Fang on this Gliscor, since he has a Clef, a Weevil and a Megalari that can all check um, Zygarde, so he doesn't need Ice Fang on Gliscor. I mean, you can never over prep for Zygarde. Zygarde is busted as shit. So it could still be Ice Fang Gliscor, but I, I don't think it is. Uh, but yeah, I think if I'm Brofus, I would switch out into Chansey or. Yeah, I don't think you want to go land. Land was at 56. You don't want to get let that get too low. You want to go Chansey and then from there, Wish Path into either Lando or Curum. You just have to accept that there's going to be a spike on your side. You can't really prevent that. <coughs> Time to drink something. Okay, so U turns out into I assume Chansey. That's what I would do. Yeah, Ladi is an option as well because Ladi walls it and can try to freeze it. But I think going Chansey, throwing up a wish and passing it uh, is an okay play for now. Uh, Faults is either gonna power up or spike again here. I'm uh, probably gonna spike again if I'd have to guess. Oh yeah, I was gonna say earlier, Protect on Ferrothorn can help a lot with the Ash Greninja matchup. That way your Ferrothorn doesn't get chipped too too much. And it's also clutch uh, obviously in the matchup with Magnezone. Cause he doesn't have a good higher pump switch in besides Ferrothorn. Uh, I mean he has a, he has a Megalari, okay I have to take it back. But the Ash Greninja can be a big threat for his team. Cause um, I mean he has Ferrothorn that can take pumps and Ladi that can take pumps. But besides Clef... His other Dark Resist is Weavile, so like Ash Greninja is definitely a threat to his team. I mean, I don't have to... This is like obvious. If you play the game, you know Ash Greninja can be um, annoying for Faults' team, especially um, if the opponent can get up spikes, the Ferrothorn can get worn down. But he does have the... He does have the Magnet Zone that um, can potentially can trap opposing Ferrothorn, so that way spikes don't... Not too many spikes go up. So he uh, goes hard into Magnet Zone. Um, now it's at 4%, so even if he switches out, it's like probably never gonna get wish passed up so he's just gonna HP fire I guess so he's willing to give up the magnet zone 
uh, that's not necessarily too big of a deal. Um, I assume we see Leech Sheet here because he wants to keep this as healthy as possible. And Leech Sheet is more accurate than Power. Bleach Sheet is 90 accuracy if I'm not mistaken. Power is 85. So you want to click the more accurate move if you're false because you don't want to miss. And if you miss, um, your Ferrosone gets super low, which is bad. So now, um, I don't know what you'd go to here because I could see Brof is going for sub. Um, we could see either Hard Weaver, I guess, or I don't know if we want to go Clef. The Clef can potentially lose uh, to this Curum, especially with the Para now. I mean, even without the Para, it can get bopped by Z-Move. Uh, I, th I think I wanted to say something else earlier and I didn't finish my thought process. Oh yeah, I was trying to say, maybe um, Falls has Defog on either the Megalady or the Gliscor, but I'm not sure about that. He might, he, it doesn't really fit, it doesn't really fit well, but he might have it. Because I, I guess his way, oh, he got hard Weaver. What do we see? We see hard Z move. That's going to do a lot. I might just kill the Weaver. Bob, nice resist. Because Weaver doesn't have good defense and it's a sub series slammer. The Weaver, yes, it would have been good in this matchup. But he had to decide pretty much what he wanted to sack there. And he definitely didn't want to sack the Feral Song. Because the Feral Song, Brofus just cannot kill the Feral Song with the Magnezone being dead. So I completely agree with not sacking the Feral Song. I don't know if Weaver was the sack, but. Maybe maybe Megalady would have been a good sec because Megalady doesn't do much, it gets walled by Chansey. Maybe Megalady would have been a better sec. So he goes Clef knowing that he now walls the Skewerm that after it used the Z move. And um Brofus is probably just gonna go either Coco or Chansey. Yeah. I, I don't know if he wants to go Coco with that with that spike up. Um uh, it's probably able to live a Moonblast even with that spike up. I think Moonblast is like 45 from Clef. Kind of a head calc on my end, so correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, basically what I was trying to say is, most likely Fault's team doesn't have defog, even though it would appreciate defog. Uh, a lot of the time the opponent can defog for him. Okay, Brofus subs down, so he was just hoping for a para there. And I guess he's willing to give up the Curum. I don't know if that's necessary, because he can still wish pass it up if he didn't sub down there. Um, so he could just switch into Chansey. I wish the Kyurem back up on the Ferrosom, because the Ferrosom only has power but doesn't have Jarable. But I guess he's willing to sack the Kyurem because now it's super low. So we're going to see either Fusion or Ice Beam. Ice Beam obviously does a bit more, I think, even with no special attack investment because it's stabbed. So I guess he's going to just spam Ice Beam at this point. Uh, it seems like he's willing to sack his Kyurem. Um, freeze Shock in case he gets the Para, because that would have done a good amount. Okay. So now Coco can come out, or Chansey can come out. Megalady, yes, can Megalady Orlando, um, they can try to hex the clef down with the para, but it's not the best play to make, yeah. So Chansey gonna throw up that wish and he can pass this into into Landorus, I think, here. Actually, I don't know how healthy the Landorus is, but I think it's out of Moonblast range. I'm actually not sure if the Coco can switch into Moonblast with um, Spikes and Rocks up, so I wasn't sure if he wanted to go Coco because there's Spikes and Rocks up. So, I don't I think Moonblast was the play there for Falls, just in case it... I think he might have been able to kill the Coco. So, um, Defox there, Moonblast is going to do a lot, like 70 maybe? 71, yeah. So, Moonblast would have killed the Coco on the switch. So, he has to U-turn out here, obviously he doesn't want to lose his Coco back in the chance. He's the only play. Yeah, I think he definitely should have Moonblasted instead of Calm Minding, just in case Brofist wanted to pass into um, Coco. It's not too big of a deal, because he can just get the rocks back up now. Uh, Brofist going for Estos, trying to Paralyst Clef down again. Because again, he doesn't have like a good way to kill Clef at all, and he also doesn't have a good way to kill Ferrothorn if it can um, connect its leech sheets. So Brofus Wincon is pretty much hex at this point, hexing down Clef with Seismic Toss spam and hexing down Pharaoh with um, either T-Bolt pairing with it with Coco or Ice Beam freezing it with Lari, something like that. So Fall's gonna see him up here to plus six, I think. We will never know what he did there because nice para coming. Ah, nice yellow magic. Who said who said T wave got nerfed? Who said that? <laughs> I mean the speed part, um it plays a role sometimes. I don't want like they did nerf it for sure a bit, but you still get parrot a lot. Like it happens more often than twenty five percent. And I smoked this shit going wild. Okay, Falls just doesn't want to risk. Um which I can probably um yeah. I can I can agree with that play. You don't wanna risk your um clef going down to hex. Ten wishes left. So he goes out into um, Megalady. He can freely go out into Megalady since the Weavile is dead. He doesn't have to fear false doubling into Weavile anymore. And Gliscor usually only carries Facade um, 
on the SD set. Like I said, he has enough ways to check Zygarde, so it's most likely not an Ice Fang Blitz score. Even if it's Ice Fang, it doesn't do that much to Lari, because after Lari Megas, it gets extra bulk, it can roost up. Now he doubled into Chansey, which was a good play. Um, I, th I don't know if he bricked the Mega Lari, but yeah, he went hard for Moonbass in case the Lari wanted to stay in and go for Psychic and Fish for Hex. And now um, the Ferrothorn can... I don't know how else the Coco is. If the Coco is in Power Whip range, yeah, I think you click Power Whip here. Uh, because the Coco is, I think, relatively low from the Moonblast that it took. I think it's at 28 or something. So Power Whip is the play here because you don't want to let him wish past the Coco up. And if the Coco dies, you keep hazards. Uh, so I assume Brofus is going to wish past into the Lando or the Lari. Probably into the Lando. Because I think the Lando is at 40 something after Rocks, which means it's going to be able to take a um, Power Whip and then get the wish probably back up to like 80 or 90%. Because Chansey has. A lot of HP, which means the wish is a fat wish. You get a lot of HP back. Okay, so it's a bit healthier than I thought. I would, I thought it would be at 46 after rocks. It's at 51. So he leeches, which is a fine play. Um, he could have, I think, power. I would have powered just in case he went in the Coco. But Leechy works out here for him, and I guess he knew that Brofist wouldn't risk the Coco again. I mean, he risked it once already earlier, right? What on the on the Moonblast from the Clef? But he could have also gotten a pearl on the cliff, so I can somewhat understand it. I mean, it's also a hard matchup for Brofus, so like he has to try something, he has to like hope for Hex. So I don't know if he wants to U turn out to take the Iron Bubs here, I guess he might just do that. Uh, Brofus could also get up his own rocks, he hasn't done that yet, but at, at one point, Brofus pretty much has to. Uh, he, he pretty much has to get up his own hazards because he cannot keep off the opposing hazards forever. Uh, with Coco only having that many defog PP and also with Coco potentially dying eventually. So he goes for Protect there, um, anticipating the U-turn. Okay, so Brofus doesn't go for rocks. He would have looked like a Dawn there if he went for rocks. Um, yeah, I assume he has to go into either Lari to fish for the freeze or to go or go into Chansey and throw up another wish. And yeah, Falls is free to... I don't know, potentially power to not let the Coco in, but I assume he's... He might go for Spike. Or double leech sheet. Um, actually, he shouldn't leech sheet when he's at full. He should leech sheet when he's a bit chipped. He should be a bit careful with leech sheet PP. Uh, I don't know. I think he has like 10 left or something. I didn't count them. But yeah, he does U turn. He's willing to um, let the Leonard take the Iron Barbs. And I guess he wants any chip that he can get on Ferrothorn because it's impossible for him to kill Ferrothorn. <laughs> so he can take that chip. And I assume we see the Lari come out or the, or the Chansey. Because I don't think he wants to risk going Coco and dying to power. But the thing is, what does he even wish the Coco back up on? Not much. So he does go Lari. I assume we see Power Whip just in case the Coco comes out. No, he does go for Spikes. So if he went Coco there, he could have then um, Roost it next turn Defog, but it was way too risky. So Lari is going to Mega Evolve and most likely going to go for Ice Beam. And False is probably just going to click Leech Sheet to keep the Ferros on healthy because uh, Power Whip obviously doesn't do anything to the Mega Lari. And you, yeah, you want to keep the Ferros. Oh, he goes to his own Lari. Okay, I don't know why. Oh, he scouted. Oh, okay. I guess he scouted for HP fire, but in my opinion, I, ca I can understand why. Because his Lari is walled anyway by the Chansey, and his Ferrothorn is so valuable that he didn't want to get popped by a double HP fire. But it was super unlikely that his HP fire Lari when it's when he already has a Magnezone. But I can understand where Fault is coming from. But now he's probably gonna go back into Ferrothorn because it's not worth it to risk the tie. And really good play by Brofus breaking the Ferrothorn to come out doubles into Tapu Coco, and now he can roost. And I think he can live power. And he has leftovers, so he can roost spam, get his Coco back healthy, and then um, get the defog up. So that was well played by Brofist, uh, but he's still in a tough spot. Um, yeah, I personally would probably not have gone into Lari, but I have to. I understand where Fault is coming from because his Ferrothorn is so valuable that you cannot risk um, getting popped there by HP Fire. Because Brofist brought the Lari in on the Pharaoh, so it could have had HP Fire. You you never know, you never know. So um, his play definitely makes sense, is what I'm trying to say. It was just super unlikely that it would um, be HP fire. So you can see Power Whip is doing a little bit of damage, but it can also miss. So I guess Brofus is hoping for a miss here. With the leftovers and depending on rolls, um, his, Coco, his Coco is able to take these. Yeah, like we can see 152, 158. So with leftovers, um, it's, not, it's not really doing much. Uh, so he's just gonna spam Ruth and hope for the miss. And if he miss, if he gets a dodge, which he gets here, um, now he can go for Defog, uh, get rid of the rocks mainly. The spikes are just gonna go right back up next turn, obviously. So Falls goes for Lichi there, and Falls gonna click Spike here again. Yeah, 
has no energy left. Four power only. Yeah, he stopped clicking power because he has almost no powers left. But yeah, Brofus is kind of PP stalling the Ferrothorn. I mean, that's also a way to deal with it. <laughs> so switch out in the Chansey. There's the spike. Chansey gonna wish back into Landris, I assume, most likely. Um, obviously, you, do, you never seismic toss here because you just take iron barbs for no reason if you seismic toss. And if the lead sheet comes out, um, but spiking is a good play. But if the feral lead sheet, it heals back the seismic toss damage anyway, so there's no point in seismic tossing. But says technically he could seismic toss this turn because he has a wish up in the air, but I still wouldn't do it. I probably would just pass the wish into the landers. Uh, he goes for T wave, okay. So um, Glisco was a fine play for false there because it covered the chance he's staying in and it covered the Landris coming out. So um, <coughs> Brofus doesn't want to stay in there. He goes hard Lari, which is his um, Glisco check. They run Ice Beam Psychic uh, for good cover most of the time. Draco is not really a thing on Megalari. It's like rare. It's it's not that bad actually I think, but it's not common. So he goes in the Ferrothorn, obviously not wanting to sack the Glisco to Ice Beam, and. He's probably gonna lead sheet. I could see Brofus staying in just fishing for the freeze. Could like I said, he has like no way of killing the Ferrothorn. So you ruse splitting a protect potentially there. Not I personally would not have made that play. I would have attacked there and then I would have roosted the next turn. But it's not it's not like he loses much from that. So uh, he can either fish for freeze or switch out. Um, I assume we see another spike or no? He goes. False goes in the clef. What did he predict there? Oh yeah, he, he goes in the clef knowing that uh, if the Lari stays in, it's gonna go for Ice Beam. And the clef can eat that up. And he also probably wants to get his rocks up. If he can get enough hazards up... Um, like if you can get rocks up that chips the Lari. Everything's getting chipped. And if more hazards are up, Brofus Chansey is forced to use Wish more often. And eventually it's gonna run out of Wishes. And... Did he Moonblast? Well, if Moonblast kills the Coco, then Moonblast is the play. I didn't think about that for a second. I think Moonblast would have potentially been a roll. I think Coco would have probably barely lived it. I'm not actually sure. It might have been a roll, but yeah, he's obviously going to defog here with that extra leftovers. He guaranteed lives a Moonblast. And now he's going to U-turn out into his um, Ladi again. Uh, because you see a facade here, most likely from Falls. Ice Thing. So he does have Ice Thing. Okay, so he is... Over, I don't want to say over prepping because you can't really over prep for Zaga. Zaga is busted as one. But yeah, we can see a Ruth most likely here. Yep. And now Brofus can either Ice Beam or switch back into Ferris, uh, into Chansey. Ice Beam would be, uh, be just fishing for the freeze. And Falls is just going to get this, get a spike back up here. So he does Ice Beam fishing for the freeze. And he gets the freeze. So does the Ferris saw? It doesn't saw. Ooh. This game that was looking heavily in Falls' favor. Um, if the chance, if the Pharaoh doesn't thaw out, um, Brovis might just win this game. Ooh, not like this. So he has to thaw it and get up a lead sheet here, and then he can protect next turn, get extra leftovers, and get back healthy. But it's not looking too good. He gets only one more chance to thaw out here. I guess, yeah, like going. If he goes clef, he's paralyzed, so it's not a winning game for him. If he goes clef, then the Lari can just spam psychic. So he does saw out last turn and goes for... Ooh, he does saw out before he dies and goes for protect. I forgot about protect, that gives him an extra chance. But Ice Beam still kills from here. So this isn't good. I guess he has to hope for a min roll. Um, he could... Like, if he goes clef, he's just... It's just not gonna win the game for him. Because if he go clef, you have to... I uh, maybe hope for the min roll. Because if he go clef here... He might want to sack his Lari here and then go to clef next turn. But if he go hard into clef, um, Ice Beam... You... That's like 20, I think, or 30. I don't know, I'm head calking. And then next turn you're forced to spam softball, you're eventually gonna get paralyzed. And then Psychic um, can also potentially spadef drop, so it's not in your favor. So yeah, I agree with sacking that. Then you can go back to Ferrothorn and can, and can click Protect again to get an extra turn of leftovers. Um, Brofist might predict the Protect and hard switch out. So if Fault wants to predict Brofist to hard switch out, he can go for Leech Sheet here. Protect is obviously the safest play. I think he probably has to go for Protect, just in case Brofus stays in, which Brofus might do. His switch would be Landris, maybe, because, yeah, I don't think he wants to go Chansey and take, um, Chansey and take Iron Bubbles by Ace tossing this. And also Chansey gives the Ferrothorn way too much health back in case Faults goes for Lichid. So yeah, I agree with going Landris. I assume he just goes for Protect. Yep. And now he might go for Protect again, so if Brofus 
once he can get his rocks up here um definitely a good opportunity to get a rocks up here does he do that he just earthquakes understandable in case the fire doesn't protect and i don't know if earthquake kills from here but false probably doesn't want to stay in here he might go gliscor uh but yeah brofus can either earthquake again or get up the rocks here anticipating the switch into gliscor or clef uh, i mean false probably gonna calc this right now from no attack landris is might only do 30% of the earthquake but I don't know how much leech he heals back from Lando probably doesn't heal back that much yeah I think I think you might wanna um you might wanna go Glisco or Clef and then try to double this Pharaoh's Hunt in later in the game to get an extra turn of leftovers but it's not looking too good for falls with the double freeze i mean his manners on did saw out but that freeze was also a bit annoying so he goes cliff yeah brovis goes for rocks there um probably anticipating faults to switch out so good play and now faults is gonna get up his own rocks so brovis um i don't know how healthy the coco is but he's either gonna go chancy to throw up a wish or he's gonna spam off quick here um just hoping to get the Clef low and he doubles into Pharaoh anticipating the chance and Brofus just earthquakes which um, I understand where Falls was coming from there he had to try to catch the chance and then get a because if he gets Pharaoh on actually I don't know how healthy the, I don't know how healthy the Pharaoh is if I don't know if it was able to take a seismic toss is what I'm trying to say I simply say U-turn yep I don't know if his Pharaoh was able to take a seismic toss then he predicted the chance there and he wanted to lead sheet up on a chance or maybe he predicted the Coco, I don't know how healthy the Coco is, but if he predicted the Coco, that would have also worked. Um, and then got an upper leech on that. So I can understand where Falls is coming from, didn't work out. Um, Brofus just made a fine play in Earthquaking, because, uh, yeah, just wanted to get some damage in the cleft. And now he just pretty much uh, is looking over, because the Pharaoh is dead. And the Ladi can just spam Psychic here, and fish for Spad Death Drop or the Para. So Falls is forced to spam Softball here. And this is just heavily in Brofus' favor at this point. I mean, he played as odds. Um, as Pokemon would say, Pokemon is a game of odds. He clicked Ice Beam multiple times on the Pharaoh, he got the freeze. And the same thing is now with Clef, he's gonna click Psychic and he's eventually gonna get exactly there it is. He's eventually gonna get the Spadef Drop or the full Para. So now he just spams Psychic again. The Clef is eventually gonna. It's gonna do like 75 ish. So yeah, he's forced to Moonblast and he pretty much just loses. So Brovis is gonna take this home. Goes Gliscor on a Psychic. If that doesn't kill, then the next one is gonna kill Crits. I mean, it also runs Ice Beam to kill Gliscor, obviously. So now Clef uh, has to spam Softball again. I mean, he switched out to get rid of the Spadef Drop. I understand that. But this Clef is never gonna win the game. Um, but yeah, the Hex was unfortunate and Falls just forfeits. Um, yeah, if I was Falls, I would've been mad right now. So, his Reveal could've been really good to potentially trap the Megaladi, but I don't know what else was the sack. If you guys know what else he could've sacked earlier to the Creorm on the Z-Move, Ah, uh, yeah, he could have sacked his Megalady. I think that's the only misplay that he potentially made. If he sacked his Megalady to the ICMZ from the Kyurem. Um, but he doesn't know, he didn't know necessarily if Brofus went for Ice Beam that turn. So it was a, it was a hard call. I think Falls played it well overall. And Hex cost him the game. But yeah, only potential misplay was sacking the Weewell. Other than that, he played pretty well in my opinion. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more content. Smash that like button. Have a fantastic day. Peace out, friends.